A discovery was made regarding the relationship between brain and spinal cord disease, MS and DNA. DNA extracted from the bones and teeth of ancient Europeans who lived up to 34,000 years ago provides insight into the origins of the neurological disease multiple sclerosis and now reveals that genetic variants that increase this risk worked in ancient times to protect people from animal-borne diseases. Researchers have identified a pivotal migration event around 5,000 years ago, at the beginning of the Bronze Age, when so-called Yemnaya people moved into Western Europe from a region that included modern Ukraine and southern Russia. At that time, they carried beneficial, protective genetic features against infections that could arise from sheep and cattle. As sanitary conditions improved over thousands of years, the same variants increased the risk of miss. This helps explain why Northern Europeans have the world's highest prevalence of MS, twice as much as Southern Europeans, the researchers said. The findings come from research involving ancient DNA sequenced from 1,664 individuals from various regions in Western Europe and Asia. These ancient genomes were then compared with modern DNA from the UK Biobank, made up of around 410,000 people who self-identify as white British and more than 24,000 people born outside the UK to discern changes over time. Findings may have implications for MS research and treatment. We are a product of evolution that occurred in past environments, and in many ways we are not optimally adapted to the environment we have created for ourselves today, said Rasmus Nielsen, population geneticist at the University of California. The research was published in the journal Nature on Wednesday, approximately 11,000 years ago. Farmers in the region where Turkey is located expanded into Western Europe, replacing hunter-gatherers. Later, the Yamnaya were replaced by these agriculturalists. William Barry, a geneticist at the University of Cambridge and co-author of the study, said, the Yamnayas were Europe's first true nomads. They used domesticated cattle and horses to reach the interior of the Asian steppes, where food and drink were very scarce. So they carried everything with them. Physically, they were unusually large, making this possible. We can understand it. By measuring the skeletons, and also genetically, we see that it is quite large, he said. Yamnaya-related lineages are present in Northern Europeans, peaking in Ireland, Iceland, Norway, and Sweden, and decreasing in the South. The findings underscore how genetic traits can change from beneficial to harmful as conditions evolve.